module 1 for our HGE so to begin with the properties of fluids so you need to take note of this um, formulas and the um, at least understand these um, properties okay these are the very basics ating fluid mechanics the density the specific gravity the specific weight this one properties of the ideal gas ito yung pinaka gamit na gamit natin um, the bulk modulus of compressibility the coefficient of compressibility the kinematic viscosity the surface tension the height of the capillary rise um, for water hammer pressure you need to understand the celerity, the speed of the sound. Okay, we have these two types here. Please take note of this. We will use these formulas on our sample problems. We have this time. And we have three um, cases in water hammer pressure. Okay. Okay, let's begin with this sample problem. Situation 1. So the dimension of a certain room is 4 meters by 5 meters by 6 meters at 100 kilopascal and 25 degrees Celsius. Given yung gas constant of the air, that is 0 0.287 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So we are required to determine the density of the air in kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, basic. Okay, for part 1. Um, the formula of the density that is the rho, we have this mass over volume. But take note, if you are to check these givens, wala tayong mass, we have the volume. So how can we calculate the density here? Actually, um, there is another formula for the density of a gas. We have this. Density of a gas, P over RT, that denotes the pressure over the uh, gas constant R, times the absolute temperature okay so as you can see we have this pressure so expressing this into air pressure is 100 gas constant is 0.287 and the absolute temperature we need to um, add 273 to 25 degrees celsius to convert this into kelvin or we need to convert this into absolute temperature so we have the density of the air as 1.17 Next, determine the density, I mean the specific gravity of the air. Okay, specific gravity is, um, we have this formula, rho of the liquid over the rho of the water, but expressing into this into gas, rho of gas over the rho of air. Since um, we are to calculate the specific gravity of the air, actually that is just 1.0. Because if this is rho of air, dito sa taas, over the row of air of course that will be 1.0 or simply the universal gas is just the um, air for number three determine the mass of the air in kilograms so here we need to calculate the mass using this formula okay since we have the row of the air we have the volume here the volume here is just the volume of this dimension of the room ito yung ino ito yung ino occupy ng air natin dito Okay, so substitute mass over the volume that is 4 by 5 by 6 and we have the mass here. Okay, very basic lang ito. Now another uh, situation. A reserve of glycerin has a mass of 1,500 kilograms and a volume of 0 0.879 cubic meters. Find the weight of the glycerin. Okay, from the basic formula. Weight is equals to mass times gravity. So substitute. Okay, mass times the gravity. Ang lalabas dito is newtons. So we need to convert this into uh, into kilonewtons divided by 1000. So we have this W. Okay, for part 2. Um, mass density of glycerin. So as you can see in the unit, no, that is mass over the volume. That is 1. So, directly substitution lang. 1,500 over the volume. And we have this density. Specific weight. Specific weight is just the unit weight. 
that is just the weight over the volume or rho times gravity. So using this rho times gravity divided by 1000 and we have the unit weight. Okay, for part 4, the specific gravity. Specific gravity, as again, rho of the liquid over the rho of the water or we can express this into gamma of the liquid over the gamma of water and substitute and we have this value okay that is a unitless um, or dimensionless parameter